Hello, 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 and welcome to Wrestling Wit Entertainment, bringing you exclusive news, breaking the rumors and innuendo, previewing the latest shows, and having all our predictions fall through with review shows every Saturday on YouTube and Castbox. I'm your host, James J, and for my co-host, he had he had lunch with Stephanie McMahon, Coleco Yachts. I express my grievances about the Kofi thing, but hey, <laughs> that's all I could do. What up, world? He had dinner with Billy Corgan, Scooter Dust. Hey, hey, hey. I'm old. <laughs> Aren't we all, my friend? Well, except James. He knows what Tony Khan had for breakfast, <laughs> Mitch Mayhem. Hey, what's up? Frosted Flakes. <laughs> They're food. <Great. laughs> Last week was a big week for wrestling. Um, Coleco boycotted for Kofi, Mitch boycotted for The Fiend, and uh, Scooter mind, mind melted from watching <laughs> so much wrestling on the remix. Uh, I need an aspirin. Yeah, he's a zombie. We have and, the ghost uh, of uh, of Scooter Dust with us tonight. And I'm not the only one who, in you know, I'll probably around Survivor Series, I'll probably get the network again. But I join everyone oh else God, in boy. in getting rid of the network as as a uh, protest because everyone, as so many other people did, and so just hear me out. That's what WWE reacts to, numbers. When they see numbers go down, they react. So that's what I'm hoping. Now you just got to get rid of the gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay. between all of that, yeah, <laughs> no show tonight. That's all. Thank you for joining us. First, uh, <laughs> please like, subscribe, yeah. comment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, okay, then. Uh, that brought a smile to my face. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter. I also took my pills, so. So, <laughs> in all seriousness, no, we, we do have a show tonight. Our main course tonight is a preview <laughs> of New Japan King of Pro Wrestling. Your endless apps this week is the Wednesday Night Wars, uh, Week 2, and NWA Power. Mm-hmm. But first, we're going to... That was the sleeper of the... Of the week. Oh, without doubt. But uh, first, we're gonna empty out, and we're going to wrestle with empty out. Seneca. WWE <laughs> Hell in a Cell. Uh, yeah. In the blood cell. Blood cell. Uh, last we actually covered this last week on the remix with Scooter Dust. We were live commentary. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. lots of outreach and um, not a lot of good things to say about the show. Yeah. Uh, my whole hometown protested on it, and I was one of them. Yeah, because it was in Sacramento, and exactly. everybody knew except but, you. You didn't get the memo. I knew. I just didn't want to pay any attention to much. My friends like left texts, and I just didn't. I just had my mind on other shit. Stuff. Plus, I honestly, I'm glad I didn't go because it would have just been a waste of money. I would have been pissed. You know, that's an interesting thing to say. Uh, that you, it would have been a waste of money. It, yeah, to me, because yeah, it, well, that's in a lot at the end. Yeah, at the end, it's a lot, and especially me. If I go to a show, I'm gonna get a really good seat. I'm not gonna, you know, like sit in the nosebleeds for cheap. I'm going to go, and I'm, if I'm going to go, I'm going to do it right. You're all, you're all in. Mm-hmm. All right. You might not pay for it, but you're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you say that. I have gotten free tickets many times. So I'm sure you have, too. The first match you, of the night. Wrestling friends. It's easy. Natalia Easier. defeated Lacey Evans, which set up a, a last woman standing match on Raw. That was actually not too bad. Um, and that brings us to our first match. Becky Lynch defeated Sasha Banks in a Hell in a Cell match. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, honestly, 
that was the uh, show stealer, in my opinion, for the night. That match. That was a great match. Yeah, they were very violent about it. They were very uh, violent about the match. And to where Sasha... Uh, Not click or something. Sasha incurred a uh, injury in that match. She, I don't think it was that bad, but she she got you know she got a little potatoed and, and she old and busted. <laughs> yeah. not, not potato squash match. Squash? Oh well, no, she wasn't squashed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right. This was a barn barn of a match. Honestly, this should have been the main event. This should have went on last. That and the uh, Ali Orton match were my standouts. Right. Uh, next match, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan defeated Eric Rowan and Luke Harper in a tornado tag team match. Considering that this was this was definitely a sleeper match, honestly, this, these guys were really went all out and was actually a pretty good match. Uh, real quick, you do you you've heard about what's going on with Harper, right? Uh, no, I don't updates? think I did. Okay, well, basically, uh, uh, what he's doing is he's trying to piss everyone off that he can. He's trying, like, he, he's opening his direct messages, and he's, like, basically saying whatever he wants because he doesn't care if he gets fired. He's got nothing to lose at this point. Well, that's kind so, of that's kind of kind of productive because, you know, Vince always I, wants... Uh, yeah, yeah. If um, you're not happy, he's gonna keep you. Unless he, he already ha like they've already done that and extended his contract as much as they can, and he's got a out date specifically, like when you get out of prison, and he's looking at that day like it's, it's Shawshank Redemption Day. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. That brings us to the next match: Randy Orton defeated Ali. Now, this was definitely my favorite match on the card. Uh, despite yeah, the Hell in a Cell matches, uh, this was one of the best wrestling matches I've seen in a really long time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I've already spoke about that. But uh, what do you think about it, Scooter and Coleco? Uh, I mean, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I, speak, if I speak any more about it. What do you mean? Uh, in what uh, aspect? <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I am going to reach through the phone and choke your bony, bulimic <laughs> Jesus neck. <laughs> it's harder than you think. Trust me. Next match, said. Kabuki <laughs> Kabuki Warriors defeat Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross to win the women's tag team championships. Upset of the night, I must say. Yes. Yeah. Came out of nowhere. I, I th and I uh, thank God because it, that they deserve those titles. They, <laughs> yeah, they got so many yeah. chances. They could only cash in so Poor many. Awesome. They have right? just buried. They they gave her the token Japanese gimmick with the green mist. Poor girl. I mean, well, you saw that comment both. based on her aura. Uh, I mean, but also on, was so based on her. good. She was a standout. She was facing Charlotte in the main event of WrestleMania, and then they do this to her. I don't know. But it was so kawaii. <laughs> I mean, you knew it was coming with a name like Kabuki. I was hoping I it mean. didn't, but yeah. I when was they worried. I was definitely worried, yeah. They should have been the Kabuti Warriors. <laughs> well, they don't have, have, booty. They have to have booty to be Oscar's the Oscar's got a little bit of a booty. Not it was much. a primary uh, weapon. Kyrie has nothing. She just flat. Um, well, my biggest fear is, you know, Alexa and Bliss and Nikki Cross, it kind of seemed like the the women's tag team champions got more exposure with them. But now with the Kabuki Warriors as champions, we might it might be like the Iconics again, where it'll be it, months before we see those belts again. I've got a nah, question for you real quick, Jake. Workhorses. Oh. I think they're going to be workhorses because they, they fight. They 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 ain't down they down the scrap so don't don't get it twisted. Now I've got a question for you real quick, James. Yeah. Do you think we will find out finally if Alexa Bliss, at least Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross are heels or faces? Oh, they're definitely faces they, now. But now, yeah, for a cup of coffee in twenty four hours, they'll be heels. Well, I kind of see 
Nikki Cross is a face. People what cheer I'm saying her. is they need to keep a consistency with their characters because as of now, they're just jumping left and right from face to good guy or from good guy to bad guy, good guy to bad guy, back and forth. And it's hard to keep up. It's hard to do that when the crowd is fickle, too. Thank so. you. <laughs> uh, let alone. Thank you. Yeah, especially. It's hard for them to define when the crowd keeps cheering Kevin Owens and he's a bad guy or they keep cheering the bad guys and booing the good guys. So Fiend's a heel. Y'all are cheering him. That's yeah. not. Uh, like, that's well, that's because he's like, he's like what Austin was when he was a heel. He's the cool dude that you want to go against the grain to cheer for. <laughs> Austin was a bad guy because he had a – and he got scared because they had a I'm position. To, like that. It, it, it's, it, everyone knows they're not supposed to cheer for him, and that's that adds to the allure that they want to cheer for him because he's just that cool. True, but, you know uh, – But he has done nothing other than torment people and stalk people, which is kind of like a – bad person trait, not like Austin fighting his boss, of course. which is yeah. a... Well, no, no, Austin had, before that, Austin did all the heel stuff. I'm talking about before that. Well, yeah, Austin, I think nice. And he was, I'm talking about King of the Ring era. He was still he, yeah, he was I, King of the Ring. He was I getting, get your point. He well, was getting, getting pushed back to and he was Alexa cheered. Bliss and Nikki Cross, uh, Alexa Bliss is a heel, but obviously... She's popular and people want a reason to cheer her. That's and you know she's hot. She's going <laughs> she's going teeter totting on good guy, bad guy because Nikki Cross is a face. That's Guys kinda like, what take my I money, see. take my money. <laughs> Alright, next match. Brock, <laughs> Brock okay. Strowman and the Viking Raiders defeated the OC. Dorrance County. The OCD. Yeah. That was that. three of them. Chad, uh -huh. G Chad Gable <laughs> defeated King uh, Corbin. No, uh, call him by his new real name, please. Shorty Gable. Shorty G. STD. No, it's no. actually Shorty Gable. It's not even Shorty G. <laughs> it would have been a redeeming quality had it been Shorty G. It's actually just Shorty Gable. That's horrible. And unlike uh, and, STD, and, and, ju and just like another Gable, frankly, we don't give a damn. Uh, yep, pretty much. Good like boy. the gun with the water. pretty, pretty much. Charlotte Flair defeated Bailey to win the SmackDown Women's Champion. She's now a ten times champion. Yeah, and she's gonna uh, like I told. Uh, what did you uh, tell like Scooter? I like I told Scooter, she's gonna uh, follow in the footsteps of her dad and be like a like twenty something time women's champion before it's said and done. The high flying, penis riding, yeah. <laughs> just stealing, freaking deacon, son of a bitch. I don't know. Male raping son of a guy. Yeah. Go to go to sleep, Scooter. Go to Males sleep. Can't. <laughs> you silly. Time to give him some Ambien. That's he's it. repeating jokes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's when you know he's lost it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> A joke I say on my show is still fresh on this show. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah. You're absolutely. Sure. Exactly. It, the new to you th theory. Yeah. No one, no one else I haven't seen it. Me. It's new to me. Exactly. I, I, it was, I, I, I shit on it. My bad. You know, it's, it's funny that. <laughs> no one would have known had I not said it. You know, it's funny that you say um, uh, Charlotte's going to follow in her father's footsteps. When I actually mm -hmm. met her when she was uh, still in NXT at the time. I think we've all met her. Yeah, I told her, you know, you're going to be a 16-time champion like your dad. Uh, she uh, she yeah. was like, you know, I'm going to be the oldest diva ever. <laughs> As champion. Yeah, that was when like they were just making the transition, or right before the transition from D. Like, you're gonna be wanted for income tax evasion too, just like. <laughs> <laughs> and suing everyone you see. Eh. I just hope she don't get the alcohol like her dad. Oh that? god, <laughs> yeah. Or the chlamydia like her dad, or the STD. Wow, I didn't go there, but okay. <laughs> I'm joking. That was a joke. Or the you imagine. I mean, oh, slept the, around. I, that's, I don't think that's breaking news. Well, luckily, Charlotte won't, you know, Charlotte will know if she has, you know, kids all over the country. 
Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. They can't get away from. Nowadays, especially if you're a guy, you couldn't get away with that. Not, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no way. Right. Pretty obvious. So, Male or women? No, that's no, mad. No, I just like nowadays. to say I love Solid. Eh. I support you. Oh, if I you have that? hate tweets, send them to Mitch Mayhem. What? What do you? I didn't say anything wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what you said. I didn't compare the things you said. I'm fine. <laughs> let's, let's move right. to our last match. The Fiend Bray Wyatt. La, la, it la, just la, defeated la, la, la. Universal Champion Seth Rollins by disqualification. Yes, that that was the official decision. Yeah. So they did another crappy end like that where we didn't understand the true ending. They had the referee I didn't on I didn't that. See it. They had the referee on that uh d that WWE Network show the bump. They had him explain. Oh, oh, oh I wanted to make sure you're talking about because Bray Wyatt wasn't responding, and I wanted to think of that. No. Horseshit! I thought you were talking about like I didn't know you were talking about the ending to the Hell in a So yeah, I we knew that. What he was just trying what to cover. What else could it. I even talk about? I, I don't. I thought you were saying that they had a match tonight. No. Okay, that's what I was trying to get at. All right. You, you. I couldn't hear you right, and that's what I was. I was like, "What do you mean?" My bad. I heard the face, Mac. I just heard the face. I, 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 I have an ulcer named okay. Mitch now. Whatever. Um. So obviously, we were all very upset with this outcome. We've had. I was it. I mean. I mean <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I was the only. I, I mean, I see people's perspective, but I was the only one that was like. I was laughing at how you said it. Yeah, I believe you're serious. So is the what? I know you were really pissed off about it, Mitz. Uh, after a week with sitting with it, are you still feeling the same way? It's typical WWE. I tried warning everyone. I was like, I I think they're gonna. It's it would be really hard to screw this one up. But if anyone can do it, you know, WWE can. They're, they're known for screwing up really good things. And I was I was just thinking, but they can't. No one can screw up this obvious of a home run. But uh, my gut was right, unfortunately. it's Yeah, it's still hard to get over. It. And I heard the rumors about him going to SmackDown even before that. So I think people are trying to say, well, like they're trying to justify it as, well, we needed him a reason for – to get him to SmackDown, blah 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 blah. That was that's basically their cover story for it now. Well, considering it, it looks like they're going to be swapping the freaking championships. Are you kidding me? They don't know what the hell they're doing, Scooter. I really don't think so. I think they're going by. No, the seat. I think SmackDown wants Brock. I think they're going by the seat of their pants. Nah, it Str wasn't with, that. With no. Strowman, and spoiler alert: Strowman on SmackDown. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah. Strowman, Strowman's on SmackDown, and they want it. To, Fox is going to be the sporty show. I only heard so, about half of the draft. Is. Strowman Fury, uh, you know, unless they keep Lesnar on that too and just make both feuds SmackDown feuds, but you would think maybe they want one of those feuds to be on USA. But the only reason I say that is because SmackDown. SmackDown put on put in the more money, and I kind of figured when that five billion dollar deal came, SmackDown's going to be the A show because yeah. the money is was talking right now. And but then, I, 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 oh, go ahead. No, but they also need. They're also going to want to figure out how to do main events with that are going to require the WWE Championship. Hence, bringing Bray over. I, I, and I, have I, keeping Roman. Yeah, so it, uh, it's. You know they gotta do something, and in yeah. like I said, Raw's gonna be the new SmackDown. SmackDown's gonna be the new Raw. Well, real quick, I predict within a year or so that they will, one way or the other, even out SmackDown and Raw in terms of time to either take away the extra Raw hour or put an extra hour on SmackDown. Yeah. Nah, because USA already put. I USA don't. I eventually they'll fix it. I don't know when, but. Eventually, no, they, uh, they won't do that. So, so wait, 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 you're saying that I'm being too optimistic and putting too much faith in them? No, no I'm, I'm saying 
that SmackDown's um, paying the extra ten mil for that one hour. So right. Not I'm just saying that would be a good idea, though. And that would be a breach of the contract too. So that's why. Yeah, not well if you did it the way you're expe- you're explaining. But there could, there's other ways you could do it. But but, track it, but Fox Fox is not going to give away their ten o'clock hour. I understand. They're not because it's for the news. I understand, for the, for the but, news. but because even though they don't have like real life TV, yeah, like you said, it's either their news or after ten thirty they do they make a lot of money from those Simpsons reruns. They have no Simpsons reruns anymore. Okay, not just Simpsons, but all the cartoon reruns. Like you realize, all, you all the really, you, realize, you realize the Simpsons have been sold to Disney, right? No, I didn't. But all the others, it's still on their website. But anyways, uh, it, the, the, like the other um, American Dad, King, you yeah. know, all those others. We will cover the SmackDown and Raw draft uh, in its entirety uh, next wow. week and go in Send depth. To Disney, that's crazy. And but I still think I I, I still want to like kind of go over this fiend thing because everybody's like pissed, and I'm like, okay, I get it. I mean, I get it, but Vince McMahon literally laughed at everyone who was instead of saying, yeah, okay, I fucked up. He laughed at everyone. Like he he doesn't under like he doesn't give a fuck. He honestly wait. He honestly thinks he's God, and people treat him like it, so he gets away with it. I don't, I don't, I don't think that much. But oh, before I say he has say, a huge inferiority complex. Come on. Now. Before, before I, I say what I say, I'm going to preface it by saying I acknowledge that they put themselves in the corner by even putting this match together in the first place. But there were five points that I thought about, like that really hit. And in the first point was what is very rare that a, a, a scooter hit on it last week. It's very rare that a match starts off with the the a match that usually a feud would start off with the match that ends that usually ends a feud. Right. And I was like, huh, yeah, that is kind of weird. Right. And then the second thing I was thinking about, if the roles were reversed, if Bray was huh? and the ref called the match, oh. would anybody be pissed? Well, no. And then no, good, you know, right. That that's and, what everyone wanted. That, like Bray, Bray I, would be the victor in some way. My third point was my third point is this is the Fiend's second match. It's very rare that you, you see somebody come back and come like your man champion. And I saw somebody come back in one match in and win a WCW World Championship. <laughs> Uh, action. And what if, and what if, because you don't think, if you don't think that WWE is seeing how the crowd treated Becky on the way up and how she, where she is now, how they treated Seth on the way up and how they treated him as there and how they treated Kofi when he was on his way up and how they treat him then now that they made it. I feel like the audience is somewhat responsible because we cheer for people to make it but once they make it, they're like, okay, you could go next to somebody else. And that's shitty for long term because people are like, they're planning this for long term. So prime example is for me is Kofi, right? Everyone was, everyone. Oh, snap. Everybody was on the Kofi train up until like um, at WrestleMania 35 when he won. But after he won it, the first thing people we're doing was counting down to the days that he lost it rather than enjoying the run. You see what I'm saying? And in that mentality, not only from a fan perspective, you know, it, it, it fucks with people's long term runs on it. You know what I mean? Fickle yeah. that way. But also, you have to, you have to think nobody ever thought that Brock would be the one to end Kofi's reign. Yeah, th- and that totally That's fucked up. The same old, same old. Yeah, that totally fucked up. I mean, to making a new heel. But to me, <laughs> who Damn else was gonna do yeah. it? Because he already done beat. He didn't. His reign. He beat AJ, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. Randy Orton was. If anybody that was gonna do it, it was gonna be Randy because Randy's the guy who pretty much. Set this shit back in real life a long time ago. Um, 
So, I mean, I see where everybody's coming from, but to me, I mean, once this Magnow show came in, I knew they were going to go more realistic sport-wise and have sport credibility. I kind of figured Brock was going to be in a picture eventually. And sure as hell, it came. It did come when I, it came when I didn't like it, but it came nonetheless. But now we're going to see how Bray is on SmackDown. Spoiler, he's on SmackDown. And and now we're going to see how this works because you, they're not going to have Seth and The Fiend on SmackDown or unless they just flip-flop it and put Brock on Raw. Did, did but Seth then by be drafted that, for SmackDown? Saying, no one, no, no, not yet. No. Oh, not, okay. Seth, I, Seth I, has I, a, I, 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 Seth and Brock are part of the second pool. Okay, gotcha. Exactly. I, I, that's what I was happen. asking of, like, how, you know, how they divided the superstars from pool A to pool B. Like, what I was po- the divider? I, I posted the link in the Discord. I didn't like click it yet. Okay, I'll shut up and just click it. But, but yeah, I, but we'll just see how it goes from there because the one thing that we want to, tr- every, He's not there all the time, and you want to kind of keep him like ominous and not in the picture every week. And if he had the title, he would have to be in the picture every week, right? Uh, so that that would be my thought process on it. And I can't find. Oh no, wait! You deleted it, Scooter. Remember? You I know, can't find it now. I will say this about it. Um, I can't find it now. Bray Wyatt doesn't need the belt. You know, people want him to have the belt on him. And, you know, people say that he's the undertaker of nowadays. But if uh, you seem to remember... Tonight. What? Uh, especially uh, after tonight. Yeah. The undertaker, he won the WWE Championship one year after he was in WWE. He beat and, Hogan right away. Yeah. Yeah. But right af- after that, it took but, him yeah, five it was, years I know. to win another d- WWE but, championship. And that, that was under the That was actually because, exactly you know, six, Sean, years, six years. So, thank you. Uh, at, you know, Sean at lost that time, smile. Brett was a bitch. Host, Austin wasn't ready. At, Vince McMahon's arm was tied behind his back. And he needed Undertaker. I was, I was trying to remember what I was going to say, but it went on too long, so I forgot. All right. I, I, yeah, I get that point, but I, I say Bray's an act where he doesn't need it. Yeah, that's where I'm, where I'm getting at. He doesn't need the belt. But it, it's cool that he would have that, but, I mean, he has enough gimmicks on him coming to the ring at, anyway. And to me, Bray's character ever since the beginning was always never been about the title. Right. I mean, he's only had the belt once. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Thank you for the light bulb, Coleco. Back in the day, beating Hulk Hogan was bigger than winning the title, in my opinion. Right. And he. So that's and, basically a title. Yeah. But and, with him. You know. Him. This was only Bray's second match in WWE since coming right. back. Uh, no, no, no. As the new character, he you can't say you can't treat him like a rookie. No, yeah, no. no that's I said but no, but, since but, coming back. Okay, okay. Rob, yes, it's coming say, back. Even still, but he's a veteran. Like he's, he, this is just a new incarnation. No, no, no. That's well, what I meant. I mean, considering uh, Bray, it took Bray Wyatt three years after his debut to have any reign with the WWE Championship. Right. Also, you know, you don't. Yeah, that's my thought process. I'm like, I'm like, they, they shouldn't even have put the match in a hell in a cell in the first place. But it would have been pretty like meteoric for Bray to come back in two matches in win the belt. Because when Brock came back in 2011, 2012, he didn't win the belt. Two matches in. It took no, him four uh, five. It, it took him two years. Took, two year. it took, it took him two years. Yeah. Oh. It took him uh, two years, and he lost his first match back. Right. 
Okay. Exactly. But that was that, that's a little different circumstances because Brock left the company. The, because, yeah, left the company. But, yeah, that that <laughs> loss of Cena was to humble Brock yeah. in, <laughs> in, 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 in to a degree, and then they okay. let they, they let Brock, you know, have the whole thing. But I it was a test. I think that was more of a test for Vince. There's an there's yeah. another theory I have behind this whole fiend thing, and believe it or not. It, I believe it's mostly also a marketing campaign for WWE 2K20. They're doing all this stuff with him. They're promoting Bray, uh, the Fiend, as his DLC. They're doing this thing with right. originals and all this like far out content. It, and, it, it, it's kind of kind of like a little bit of last year where it was like out of, out of cra- like in craziness like standard of like halloween spooky care like uh yeah like well, well yeah, stuff. yeah well yeah well like that that's like tenfold i know i know it's, they, 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 i'm saying the worst in my opinion that was a downfall last year and now they're getting even worse on it let me ask you something if this match wasn't uh the bray Wyatt set rollins match if it wasn't in Hell in a Cell, would that change your opinion of the match? Yes. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. Okay, let me real quick. Okay. Most of my reaction was the fact that they were in a Hell in a Cell match where Mick Foley almost died. Also, Shane McMahon almost died from falling off of it. And you do something like that and get a, a free – the way the referee reacted, like, oh, no, like he had a gun or something. And the, it was just so ass backwards. In in my opinion, I know what they were doing. I think you guys do too. They were trying to make the Triple H sledgehammer look like the most powerful weapon in wrestling by protecting it the way they did and making it look the way they did. How is it a smaller no, mallet? No, no. Or, wait, hold on, more dangerous than a big mallet? It, was it, was, really <laughs> it wasn't the mallet. It, it wasn't the mallet they were trying to make look dangerous. It was Seth. That they were trying to make. I get it, but it, it was the also idea what he would do with it, right? That, I get that of you know how far he was willing to but, go, but, and we, and was the, but we didn't, did the, was the referee really thinking he would oh, like practically kill Bray in the middle it, of the ring? That, but that's it it's, bad. It's, 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 it was I'm yeah, I'm agreeing with you, man. Oh, okay, I've got you, got you. I'm agreeing <laughs> with it. Because, you know, in all the things that have gone through Hell in a Cell, you know, it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling, you know, a, you know, a dusty finish mm-hmm. I'd even accept, you know, but to, for, for, for stoppage, right, plus, if you ask me, this kind of ruins the mystique of the whole gimmick behind the match to begin with. Absolutely. And they did that last year with the non finish with Brock Lesnar coming in. Yeah. But I I get everybody yeah, I get their point. But if that role was reversed and Bray wins because Seth got his ass whooped to the point where the ref stopped the match, would anybody be pissed? And and, well, and that's my that's a big that's a big question. It's if Bray because everyone if everyone Bray was go. you say what? If Bray, if it results in Bray yeah. winning the belt. But that's my point. Like the point is is that if you weren't if you're not gonna be upset Here. if Bray did it to Seth, that pendulum can swing and the role could be reversed, and that's exactly the route that they went with it. I may not agree with it, but that's where I'm trying to open the critical thinking mm-hmm. aspect of it. Because if you're sitting there saying you wouldn't be mad if Bray beat Seth to a pulp, and and so you're, and, well, and that just tells me but, you're but, not upset. Let me, and that, and, but that tells me people are not upset at the result but, of the match. They're upset me, at the that Bray didn't win. Real quick, so, well, I I would have still had the same outcome. I would have had the same reaction if Bray did that in the Hell in a Cell. It made no sense to me because they just basically shat on the whole history of the Hell in a Cell, well, the brutality of it, 
They like I think they did that one other time with Brock, didn't they? If, yeah, yeah, last they year. Exactly. They two years in a row. Like, wow. If, if well, they're softening up the match, if, if Bray, anything. if Bray had done this, if Bray had done this, and actually, it's been, been awarded the title. Ooh. That would have been a bad one. It, it, no, 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 I no. It would not have been bad. It would have been great. Because, that way, if it was done because, that way? Because it would have shown that br the Fiend doesn't need to pin you. Okay, but I'm talking about, like, but you said, like, if he was, like, the way the ref was like, no, don't do it, if he just did it without that stupid, like, trying yeah, to tell him no. Think of, think of your family. Let me ask yeah, one question. Or have the pregnant? fiend like have the fiend stare at him while he says that, and then mandible claw him, and then yeah, like not give a shit. Let me ask one question. You said, um, you know, this disqualification, but and you know, if Seth actually would have pulled out a gun and shot Bray Wyatt, <laughs> would would that have uh, been okay? Would you have accepted that disqualification? Uh, that would. That would have crossed the line, and the would, would have gone off the air, and there would have been a stampede in Sacramento. What if it was a gun like the one Austin used that time where the flag <laughs> comes out and says "bang"? Uh, no, it wasn't but, disqualification. <laughs> the police came in and arrested Set, and, and no. that's how they ended the match. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, and with, with that, we'll end this. Segment. I don't even want to think about that anymore. Thank you. Uh, I don't uh, know. Is it more of a hate crime than what Brock did to Kofi? Uh, it's don't you dare away. break up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I hate it's, these hate the crimes. Fiend, the Fiend was the best damn thing out of it, and we were all like, oh, there's no way you can shit on this. But even with me and my bad gut saying, oh, yeah, you could, oh. WWE will find a way. And they sure as hell did. Before we, before, uh, before, before I told we you, my on. mind was telling me Seth, but I my know. mind was telling me I told y'all. Uh, before we move on, Coleco, did you uh, were you able to find Ramblin' Rablet and Supercard? Ramblin' Rablet? <laughs> Man, that is the hardest thing to find in Supercard, bro. I've been playing I, that thing at work trying to get that thing. He, he popped up during a uh, Royal Rumble match for me at the top of the screen. On what? Damn it! I, I Wait, on what? World. On what? On what? D WWE Supercard. WWE and I, Supercard. And I, oh, and I unlocked the uh, the quest, oh, but it's an impo it's an impossible quest. It's a mobile card game. Oh, it's a mobile. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that concludes our coverage of Hell in a Cell. I think we all need a palate cleanser now. Uh, I need uh, acid. So yeah. we are <laughs> wrestling with NWA. Uh -oh. Power. Oh, nice. Uh, we'll talk briefly about this show because uh, obviously there's a lot more to cover. Okay, let me. Can I just say one thing? If yeah. The Rock is congratulating you on yeah, this show, yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, you've done something right. That exactly. is a big compliment. But you know the. The Rock watching your show out of all the other wrestling there is, that's a huge compliment. By the way, uh, my friend is a uh, is actually a referee Okay. for, uh, for NWA Power. I trained with him, uh, Nick Bonanno. Oh, cool. He was, he was, uh, I haven't he, heard of him. No, he's a, he was a referee in a Championship Wrestling of Hollywood. Oh, then I should know him. Yeah, he, him. he refereed the uh, Nick Aldis uh, James Ellsworth match. Oh, oh, okay. Is he more? Is he more recent? Like more? Did he come in? This more C recent? Couple of years. Oh, okay, that explains for, it for uh, a couple of years. That explains it. So yeah, I honestly, I enjoyed this show a lot. It was a lot different than you know what AEW or uh, NXT are doing. It literally looked like this came out of the 1970s. Yeah. yeah. And man, it, it, did it feel... Oh, or the 80s, actually, like, the 80s. And it, boy, was the nostalgia it, thick with me, man. Boy. It was on at, it was on at 6.05. 6.05, yep. And to that's me, it the old TBS like, uh, time. Yeah. Not, I mean, I'm the only one that felt like it was more of a 
and and the reason the rock jumped on it is because it reminded him of his start because right. his start was in uh in memphis at usa uswa it re- it reminded to me, me it felt like swa it me, thing yeah. It reminded me of old it, Charlotte it, uh, in Atlanta Studio Wrestling with the NWA. Yeah. It, told, it reminded me of Memphis Wrestling because it was like a anything goes type deal. It reminded me of Crockett, the Crockett era. And so, yeah. Did you kind of seem to notice that... Center like, stage with center stage. Everybody kind of fit in that format of, you know, 1970s, 1980s wrestling. Everybody kind of seemed like they fit perfectly in that set. Uh, the only person that kind of seemed like they stuck out like a sort of dumb was Eli Drake. He kind of seemed Eli like he was, was out amazing. of the future. Eli is, dude, he stole that show, bro. He, like, they, they need to, like, okay, Magnus, obviously, he's their champ. But if they had to, like, let go everyone but one person, you need to, like, do all you can to not just hang on to Eli Drake, but build him or let him just let him do what he be himself because he is going to. It, he would have already been a huge superstar if Impact wasn't Impact. So he's, he, I think he's going to have a better format here. So. so, so you're saying Eli Drake is the trunks of NWA? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Guy from the future. <laughs> and. And you got to keep in mind that back that Eli Drake was he's money, bro. Was talks when he wrestles. But Eli Drake, I saw, I actually saw him back at the uh, Wrestle Pro versus uh, Impact uh, yeah. show. Uh, he he had multiple offers, right, to go to the WWE. Right. Oh, I know. And, I know. And 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 just kept. Like turning them down, thinking that they wouldn't really want him. Right. Right. And AEW as well. What the but they did. They were trying to get him. It doesn't make sense. Why would you turn down the two biggest yeah. companies? I honestly think... NWA. You know, I'm not honestly... shitting on NWA, but hold on. You know, they're I... not WWE or AEW at this point. Okay, I honestly, I only think... know. Well, yeah, of course, that's something to do with it. But also, it has to do with why I argue against WWE sometimes. The artistic value of it. You all like you all don't always have to go to the big corporation to have uh, satisfaction. Sometimes what it's about not always AEW? about money. Sometimes it's not always about money. But everyone and their mom is trying to get into AEW now. You th- don't you think most wrestlers are like they're really scared to even talk to them because no, they AEW think everyone. Hold money. on, listen. I'm just saying they think everyone's on their jock and they just feel like I, – I know a few people that could have been AEW but have kindly just uh, – they could have been as, like uh, very forward about it and probably been in AEW by now, but they don't like to do that. They're very like subtle about it. They're, they're very uh, proper and respectful, and they, they see that as disrespectful. So it's just the way things are approached socially. All right. Uh, and you know, it's always good to see James Storm. James Storm. Oh uh, yeah, I missed him. Bro. Legend in this business. I missed James Storm. I thought he was I mean, retired. That was and, a crazy and, squash and match. That would have that would have been a shame if he had retired with, with all the talent he has still to go. Like he could be a main event star in WWE if they'd use him right. You know, I would even I would pop for uh, a Bill Money reunion in WWE. Uh, well, that's never gonna happen. But no, I no, I want to see they're they're beyond beer money. That's great, but that's no. They're they're uh, James Storm is they're both world championship value, and they're both really great singles wrestlers now. I think you're going. You would be doing an old Impact move if you went backwards and putting them in a tag team like that. True, I, but they I would, did the same thing with the X. Doesn't make it right. <laughs> but until people stop clapping and that, for and it, they'll stop the doing X. it. That's the X. That's a little different. Yeah. Um. And you know the W uh the NWA champion Nick Aldis taking on uh Tim Storm, no relation to James Storm. Uh, uh-huh. this is I, the this is on. the school teacher I've been hearing about. I'm sorry, but he. If you're going to get on people about physique and age, he looks – I don't care about age. But when you look 60 or in your 60s or in your late 50s, it's kind of hard to believe it, like that you're going to go up against a 30-something 
like ripped Nick Magnus in in possibly beat him for a world championship. It it, it devalues the title in my opinion. Just the just the the, the premises. Like I'm not saying shitting on Tim. Uh, what's his last name? Tim oh, Storm. No, Tim. Not what is this? Tim Storm. 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 It's Tim Storm. Tim Storm. Okay, Tim Storm. I was gonna say Horn. I thought it was Horn. But uh, t- Tim Storm. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know much about him, so I don't know the, his, his story. The only the thing only I've thing... ever heard of him was that uh, the Cody promo. The only person you I, be, ever I probably beat... should have heard of him. I just yeah. The only person you ever beat for that belt was a, a teacher. Well, the only thing I I can remember Adam is to be a teacher is. But... The only me. thing that I remember about that match is the promos Tim Storm cut before the match. And I'm like, bro, you a grown ass man and you sneaking <laughs> away from your mama and not telling you. <laughs> I was like, that don't even make I, yeah, sense. That was, yo. Honestly, that was like, the first, that was the first time 90? I ever seen Tim Storm. And you're you 60. Your and you know, hey, yeah, but he's like, I snuck away from my mama every time I come and wrestle. And I'm like, Oh, that you're southern, like, it's, that, it's that southern hospitality. It's that southern, uh, you know, they always do right by their mamas. They listen to their mamas. It's that, I know. know, but it was just funny that he was like, yeah, my 90-year-old mother. <laughs> still come, when I come home, my 90-year-old mother still asks me, how did you get hurt? That was the funny thing. I was like, yeah. Well, southern, <laughs> I, I had a great grandma who uh, lived in uh, – Arkansas and those southern grandmas, they they don't hold back, bro. Oh, trust me, I know that. But I was just <laughs> like, it was just funny to me that that like that promo it just stuck out, and the crowd was like, "Mama Storm." <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I was like, "Yo, like he got his mama over." So I'm like, "Okay, right? that's dope. yeah." If you do that, that's something, right? <laughs> yeah. So NWA is going to have a pay preview in um, December. Pre- I love it when you say that. A paid preview. Paid preview. <laughs> He's, I, it's a purview. Purview. Right. Thank you. Oh. It's pay per view. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> um. So yeah, they're <laughs> going to have uh, one of those, and uh, you know, they're on the radar now. So we will be covering them uh in the future. Especially and, next week, my girl out AK on there. Yeah, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing her wrestle. So it's it's gonna be interesting to see how NWA uh, goes in the future. And now that concludes our coverage of NWA, and now we are wrestling with the I'm Wednesday sorry. Night Wars <laughs> Week Two. Sorry. Now, uh, how did we watch the Wednesday Night Wars this week, Kalika? Uh, I, oh, I couldn't yeah. get based on my schedule. I couldn't get the box. The, the baseball game was more important than the wrestling, so I had to watch it when I got home. So I just got home and watched one, and then watched the other. All right, this is gonna, sh- this is gonna shock you. I honestly, actually, I was trying to get the live feed for. Uh, AEW Dynamite, and I bought a Fire TV Fire Stick so I could get the right application for it, and it didn't come in time, so I couldn't watch Dynamite live. I had to get the reviews afterwards, but I did watch NXT live. And Scooter? Uh, well, this week the remix focused on NXT. NXT. And, uh, you know, that's a shame because, honestly, I thought AEW took the cake this week. Oh, I, they did. I thought it was ten uh, times better than the NXT show. I was just going to say, well, not just that. It was ten times better than their last week's show. Yes. Oh, oh. Which what? Is, What's better? Uh, what did you say? You were, okay, uh, just wait for uh, next week's uh, remix when the first hour will be... NXT, and the second hour will be AEW. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a good cool. format, actually. And then the following yeah. week, the first hour will be AEW, and the second week okay. will be the second hour will there be NXT. There you go. That way you can cover both of them, at least a part of both yeah. each week. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. And then, oh, after, cool. and then after, I'm going to actually randomize it right before the show. 
That's cool. That's yeah, really cool. cool. That's a good idea. All right. So, you know, uh, losers go first this week, and we will be wrestling with NXT. Did not like this show. I thought it was very predictable. Not- then really? the crowd was the crowd was uh, dead, or, like pretty dead, in my opinion. Ow. I mean, it was an NXT crowd, mm. but compared to last week, no. I mean, it, it was all about really pushing the matches for the next two weeks. Oh, oh exactly. by the way, by the way, and this is not from I like I didn't have my friends tell me this or anything. Yeah. It's just uh, some on the internet. Oh, hold on, hold on, scooter. Um, t- yeah, you threw me off the mark. What I was trying to say, man. Shotzi Blackheart. What? <laughs> Shotzi Blackheart has signed with NXT. Oh, okay. Well, we, I've, now I forgot Cardinal. what I was trying to say because you kept cutting me off. But whatever. Ah, you don't like it, do you? <laughs> y'all look crazy, yeah. Both y'all are off the chain. <laughs> y'all off the chain. You were going to say somebody signed with somebody? No. I'll remember when I remember. I'll, right. I'll write it down. In First time. match: Leo Rush <laughs> defeated Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight Championship. How did Drew, Drew Gulak, Gulak? Who did? How did Drew Gulak lose this week, Coleco? <sighs> he lost because he didn't do his PowerPoint presentation. His oh, PowerPoint crashed. Crash. His PowerPoint crashed. Yeah, he didn't do it. He, he didn't do it, so that's why he lost. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm I'm upset now because like that's like one of our major gimmicks, and I'm hoping that we will we'll see a lot more Drew Gulak in the future. Rest in peace to the PowerPoint, but that tells me they're gonna move him. You know, I hope so because he, Drew, he's in the draft pool. Really? Yeah, so they're they're gonna move him. He's gonna. Have- you know, Drew I mean, Gulak is like a. Uh, a fine dessert. You don't see him very often, but when you do, you really enjoy it. I'm the only one that pays attention to 205 Live anyway, so it doesn't even matter. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, Leo Russ, the new Cruiserweight Champion. Fuck. Not not too bad. It's surprising. Uh, Now we just get to see a list of challengers and the results of these drafts, because even though people are going to be SmackDown and Raw exclusive, that doesn't exclude them from going to NXT for a match or two. Yes, it does. Does? Yep. Because NXT, NXT is not eligible in this draft. Ah, uh, fine print. I'm about, no, I'm talking about, let's say, like a... After, uh, you know, okay, doing a guest view, you know, like a... A, like yeah, a, a guest view, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like going there to be on the show like permanently, but it doesn't stop no one from like going to doing a pop up. So like a, like an Apollo Cruise would go pop up or something. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. All That's right. what I was saying. Uh, so Tika Knox will return next week. Oh, are we excited about that? Yeah, because they really pushed her in um, Dakota and in Dakota, c- considering they both had the same injury. Um, in a sense, so they kind of built a bond by it. I'm assuming they might do a tag team with it. Well, well at least we've saw Dakota Kai wrestle. We've only ever seen two matches of Tika Knox, and she broke broke her for a fucking legs. Yeah, I, I, probably just being very precautious, you yeah. know. Just when uh, she goes out there, don't uh, tell her to break a leg. <laughs> I know, right? Literally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Literally. Whatever, whatever it was I was trying to say earlier, it had something to do with the news, like something I just remembered. So I'll try to remember. You'll I'll try to next, figure out what. The... We'll see. Rhea Ripley defeated Aaliyah. This was a. Uh, what's your favorite fruit, Coleco? Squad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was uh, like to see Ripley. Just put that Kiwi. put know. that submission move. We're not New Zealand from New Zealand, Mitch. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I was trying to counter squash. You could never counter okay, squash. Go ahead, Scooter. Oh, go back. Go ahead, Scooter. Scooter my apologies. No, I, I just to see Ripley, just the sheer strength in her, just putting on that hold. Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, 
watching her put that leg lock on Aaliyah, I was, it was painful to watch. I was like, just fucking tap. You're not going to win this match. Um, mm -hmm. next thing up, Rizango, now can pass in construction workers. Uh, came the village to, people. <laughs> yeah. Came out to fight uh, Everrise, but the Forgotten Sons attacked them and took their place. Uh, and then Rizango lost to them. It kind of seems like uh, Tyler Breeze was doing really well for himself. And Fandango came back and fucked up his all of his momentum. I don't know about that. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the mystique that he had in NXT left the minute he left NXT. Right, and it hasn't been back even with his return. Yeah, I thought he was doing well until he, he, came he, he back was never the and... same. He was no, he was never the same since he left NXT the initial time. True, but yeah, I think he Coligo, was trying to Coligo's get back. hundred percent right. They, yeah, I agree. All right. Uh, next up was a Keith <laughs> Lee package, and what do we do, Scooter? My or... guy. Oh, back he, in he, his Keith Lee is Mitch approved. Oh, we'll bask in his glory. Thank you for that, Scooter. Boa lost to Cameron Grimes. What's your favorite food, Coleco? Cameron Grimes. Oh, my gosh. Him and his hat. Cucumber. <laughs> Apple. 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 Kiwi right. strawberry. <laughs> Where is this so going? <laughs> 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 it's a lemon because he's such a sourpuss. So, yeah, Cameron Grimes double stomped Boa. Killian Dane came out, obviously setting up a rivalry. So, we'll see what happens Which there. The battle no of the, the, they, they love to put the beard, beardy guys together, don't they? Well, no, these are two really hairy guys. So they're, they're gonna I know, have to that's have what I'm a, saying. Well, no, just well, not on their faces. But I mean, the they're going to try to connect them together. Back. Yeah, They're going to try legs. to, like, yeah, get them to intertwine their uh, you might say their... You might say they're in a really <laughs> hairy situation. Hairy situation? <laughs> <Boo>. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they're going to have to have... If, when they have a match, Luso gets a Brazilian wax. All right, next match. By Ron Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, by Jessica Roderick, Roderick Strong <laughs> defeated Swerve Isaiah Scott. Not Isaiah bad, Swerve Scott. Isaiah Scott, yeah, I like him. Not a bad match, but it's hard to get into a match when you know who's going to win. Yeah, but he, I mean, he uh, he uh, gave a good showing. I didn't know much about him before that. True, but again, um, it was a platform. To... It was a platform to, to show yourself, and he did. I think he did great. Again. Yeah, Shane Strickland came along. I love Shane. Dude, she, I, you have no idea how long I've waited for him to be on the roster. He's, he, he's been so under, uh, under, does, he's deserved so much more than he's gotten. Underrated to the nth degree. That's an understatement. After the match, he's just, um, he's just too. I think his uh, his weight holds him back. The the his fact that he's too little skinny. After little the match, uh, undisputed era came out, and Cole uh, Adam Cole talked about uh, how they still run the place when. Relatine Dream came out and said some sex yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. So I know every he's doing the old like he's going not not gold dust but kind of like the mental version of like gold dust in terms of like screwing with your mind with sexual innuendo. This, and you don't know if he's right. by you, for 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 people who are like closeted and really you know bigoted and stuff. That he freaks them out like you know because he don't like he's it. really I, open with it. He's androgynous, uh, damn it. And yeah, exactly. That's it. Thank you. That's all I gotta say, right? Uh, yeah, but I think this went way too far. Uh, so no, we, no, we didn't. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was, it was disgusting. great. 
Because it's like good. We, 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 is it going to be two on? Is it going to be two on two or three on one? What, what do you? I think? mean, I mean, it's a prank. So, you know. Thank you. Hold on, I didn't finish. Oh. It was a prank, and you know, as much as I want to go, oh, I don't want to look at that. It's right up, you know, the alley of the Velveteen Dream to thank you to to, to do something like that, and it it was funny. It, it got the reaction he was desiring, didn't it? Just, yeah, because the whole thank his you. Is more that, like, that it like, only matters if you get what the reaction you're trying to get. That's all. Yeah, that's the whole point of Velveteen. Like Velveteen's more part of good brand. promos. If you know what you're doing. It's honestly, too. I didn't like it. I thought it sucked. I thought it was disgusting. Just, to each their own. Exactly. Yeah, some people have different tastes. You might not find certain things that we find comical. Comical, you might take it seriously. And so it's, it, it, it's about personal taste. It really yeah. is. They are to each their own kind of thing. After, uh, after that, Champa came out. And what I find funny uh, is that Undisputed I Area... Uh, Ella. Area? Area, <laughs> yeah. The area. whole area. The undisputed area. <laughs> yeah. Um, they fled. my undisputed area. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. They fled, and Champa sat on a chair in the middle of the ring and said, Goldie, daddy's home. Ah, uh, daddy's home. Yeah. yeah. I, I missed it, dude. I'm so glad to see Champa back. Honestly, yeah. When he was a bad guy, he was one of my favorite people in uh, NXT because uh, the I, people I just fucking indies, hated though. him. Yeah, I knew them since the indies, and so when they came in as a DIY, I already knew them, and I was already like pretty big on them. So yeah, but, I was on the bandwagon early. Uh, during the break, uh. Kathy Kelly tried to get an interview with Champa, but uh, Angel Garza came. Garza. 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 Oh, that that's a Hector Garza's son. No, that's Isn't DJ that? Z. Oh, I'm talking about uh, Garza Jr. What what did they call him? No, it's not. That wasn't DJ Z. Well, hold on. Yeah, it was actually. I but... I, th I thought Garza was I DJ Z. Was. I no, have no idea. We no, got no, his. that's not right. No, 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 no. No, that's the DJ. No, <laughs> no. And Hector Garza, that's honest to God. Hector Garza has a son, and DJ Z is nowhere related to Hector Garza at all. He's a different person. Well, he, anyway, they anyway. set up a match for next week. In fact, he was, is back. Yeah, he used to wrestle here. He used to wrestle in Sacramento so for uh, a while. Next matchup, Dakota Kai lost to Bianca Belt Air, and this kind of got me scratching my head here. because they kind of brought Dakota Kai like a house of fire, and then you just kind of have a lose to Bianca Belair, which didn't kind of make sense to me. Well, I mean, Bianca Belair has been held down, and I think she deserves better than she's gotten. Like, they'll, they'll bring her up to the tip, like, right right to the, you know, she's right there, and then they have someone beat her. And it's, like, been repeated that way a while. So I'm I'm fine with seeing her. I think she deserves it. I'm, so, I'm fine with seeing her go over. Well, that... <laughs> yeah, Kaliko. No, no, I was going to say, it made sense because when you see Dakota's first match back, yeah. you can see her winning because of the, uh, the anxiety, the emotion. Uh, she and had that, like, this whole momentum on her side. The second match, it's more grinding and determining. So you, it, it made sense for her to lose the second match, actually. And that's saying something. You're a huge Dakota, Mark. So. Yeah, and I love Dakota. Yeah, Dakota's. Exactly. So there you go. I'm a it, big it, Dakota, it, Mark, too. She's my yeah, it makes I think, I, I think we all are. Scooter, I am. Oh yeah, no, I am. Girl next door, right there. That's the girl yeah. next door. Look. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, of we Dakota. all. Are there. there you go. We all like Dakota. Yeah, so the reality of her grind kicked in on that match. That's what it is. So Cameron all. Grimes, he needs to get rid of that hat. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> you hate the hat. hat. It's not I normal. hate it. But it's. I mean, I get why he has it. It's a heel thing. All right, Kit Lee. Versus Dijak and Pete Dunn versus Damian Priest for next week. Pete, me? Did, did Jacobic? 
Da, yeah. Is, is, uh, yeah. Da, I'm sorry. Dijakovic. Um, Dijakovic. I just call him Dijak. Honestly, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I did too. Honest to God, I'm not gonna lie. I did too. The Jackovic. Right, until, that, until I learned, like, got his full name down. That so. brings us to our main event, Casito versus Walter. Walter wins. Uh, who, oh, I'm sorry, who, I didn't hear, who against Walter? I didn't hear what you said. Kashida. that's right. Honestly, this match felt short for me. Uh, the crowd was way, way too into Walter. Uh, they were chanting, Walter's gonna kill you, and I'm like, fuck you, that's Kashida. If anybody uh, could take down uh, Walter, it's Kushida. I think. Well, you have you have a uh, new Japan or a Japan leaning bias. You know him a lot from Japan. You watched him a lot. So people who haven't watched him a lot don't think like you do in that retrospect. They are. That's you know. So they're behind uh, Walter. You know, especially now. But he Walter's always had a buzz about him as like the next big thing. If they stayed behind Walter during the whole match, I. I would have agreed with that, but uh, Kushida did a, uh, a DDT, and then the crowd started uh, yeah. getting behind him, and then I'm like, fuck you, so you were just oh, saying, oh. walk okay, to I kill just, him. I just remembered what I forgot early on to say. I did, thank you. It just light bulbed in my head. Um, okay, these are just rumors. I don't know this for a fact, but the the rumor backstage is that they want to get the hell out of full sale they, they yeah. it, it, that that building is it's not just the building it's the surrounding area it's shit and <laughs> in terms of like the the crowds that they're getting and so they put the building too the build, it's just too small uh and they need to, they need a new atmosphere they're looking right now as we speak i, I hear that they're looking at other like f- uh, they're trying to look at like five around five thousand uh, seat buildings, the, and that's around the size that AEW is uh, filling every Wednesday night. So I I hear Universal Studios has an opening. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, that's great that you said that. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, and that will end they do co- that? Oh wow, that will end our coverage of NXT, and now we are wrestling wet. Scooter. What are we wrestling with? The one that starts with A, ends in W. A E W L E. Thank you for that. Honestly, this was awesome. From last week to this week, major improvements. Well, okay, I I agree, except for there's one aspect that I just per me personally. I didn't. Well, not just one. There was a few others, and we'll go by. We'll go through them. But the one that stuck out to me that I can like something that I just it sticks out to me personally. Uh, Darby Allen. How, why do you? They're pushing Darby Allen. Okay, I get that. But how do you have Jimmy Havoc lose to Darby Allen after all that Jimmy Havoc's done? He deserves it more. That makes no sense to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, Pac deserves it more because he's got the quality wins. And remember oh, when AEW? No, 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 no. I agree with you. I'm saying out of those two guys, they made it those two guys for the next shot. And yeah, uh, if, if they don't give Pac, I think it's they. They said someone else, not Pac. Like I forget who they they said. They already dropped the name. But uh, hopefully it changes because yeah, Cody. Cody gets. No, no, so, it's someone besides Cody. Like after that, I forget who it is now, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're right, though. I agree with you 100. So. percent Hello, you guys. His mics are muted. Yeah. Yeah, muted. There you go. What? Uh, we're we were done. We were just waiting for you to move on. Yeah, no, I thought we were just talking about AEW. Uh, hey, but you, yeah, you, you muted yourself, so we didn't hear anything you were saying. Oh, uh, well, let's get to the first match. The Young Bucks lost a private party. Upset of the... This is that, what... That is obviously, they, they wanted to shock everyone in terms of... Okay, this is what was going on. It, like, they... they 
they care too much about what other people think because they i think they made the decision to do this based on you know the net the stuff that we were saying about nepotism and oh this feels like the old click days how they take care of themselves and their friends and so yeah. they're kind of, they're they're uh, getting self-conscious about that and this was uh this was a move to kind of be like so they could say, oh, no, we're not, kind of def have a defense. So. Well, this is what they should have been doing since night one. And yeah. I mean, uh, not like that. You can't just lose to any, like, have, yeah, uh, no. No, you, you can't right, have Mox, but... hold on, you can't have, like, Moxley lose to Orange Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, no. I, Yeah, if it, if it makes sense to perp further a purpose in a good tag team, like uh, Private Party, who now it, it, it are on the map because of that, definitely, if they weren't before, I, I think it was okay move. Yeah, and uh, I, I will say that I, uh, I have noticed um, uh, on their name plates, it says the win-loss records, and those are way too yep. small. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I love their... I love their uh, their entrance when they announce uh, with the rope, the, you know, the red carpet and the velvet rope, and they announce how uh, the, the they they announce their weight in vodka cranberry. Yes, juice. that is. <laughs> that was it's right. interesting. Yeah, but, I love that. That's so awesome. Uh, but no, I have twenty twenty vision, and it's really hard to see the win loss record columns. Uh, I I'm I have. Like the clearest vision, uh, anyone like I've been told, I and I do have perfect vision, and it wasn't a problem for me. Yeah, and you know, having a, a it was, big I didn't have TV any doesn't help. Uh, I could see it perfectly. Oh, I have a big to, TV. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, TV. And you know, Rick Knox is the referee once again for a Young Bucks match. Interesting. He's refereed matches of mine in the day. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and. Uh, Quinn didn't have the sunglasses on. He didn't wrestle with them, which was kind of disappointing. It, he, 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 that's not only part of his look, but it makes him look like an X Men. You know, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Like yeah. it just—he looks yeah. like a superhero with that. Yeah, I like it. He looks like Cyclops, like a black Cyclops. Right. And that brings us to the next segment. Jericho came out with Jake Hagar, or T. Santana. The Inner Circle. And the new, they yeah. are calling themselves the Inner Circle now. The new, yep, they're, they're the new uh, badass mob team. Well, people, some people are calling them NWO 2019. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I was a USMCA, considering they got Mexicans, Canada, Canadians, and yeah, right, and then, right. I, that is, yeah, huh? I Canada, Canada is call, call them the uh, call them NATO or call them the United, you know, like something like that, because it's Canada, the yeah, the United Force or something like you Canada, U.S. in Mexico. So. Yeah, it shows you how good Jericho is at promos. He called Dust. Oh, he, he's the best. He said he thought Dusty Rhodes was a joke. <laughs> I don't know why that sticks out in my mind, but I, I thought that was hilarious. Well, he goes for the the low freight seed, but the low hanging fruit works for him because of right. how he doesn't he, he he doesn't just attack it like vaguely. He goes out of his way to make it like uh, unique to him, and so that's yeah. And obviously, the shot to WWE <laughs> is what everybody's probably talking about. I liked the oh, shut up. The, we the people sucks. It was a bad creative idea. Don't That's pretend when you were in the crowd, you didn't do we the people. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I swear to God. I know. I That's what That's I what swear all my life I did it. Be the people, actually. I never did that. I never did that. Be the people is because is the reason why Cesaro I never had, did like, that, though. I never got into that. Never got into uh, it. I, I, I always, like, so, I still to this day, I'll cheer a good, bad guy if I like a bad guy and boo. It just depends on what I like. I don't go by the, you know, kayfabe good guy, bad guy. And a lot of other fans like that, especially when they're young, they like to go against what people try to tell them they should go with. And they just go with what they feel and who they feel. Are you still up, Scooter? Did you fall asleep on that? 
Oh, I'm still up. God. <laughs> yeah. Try to grow. And this is almost like the end at Bernie's with me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and at the we end of the Bernie, promo, we can't have Bernie breaking his scooters. At the end of the promo, we're all going to celebrate with a little bit of the bubbly. Next up. That's, it is getting old, though. Yeah, I don't like and, it. Now. And I got to tell you. You, I, does anyone else know that he's been using that phrase for years and it just now caught on? It just he hasn't been using it like every other syllable like he has lately since it caught on. But there's – go back in past interviews. He, 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 he does it here and there. So I, when I heard him say it at first, I, I, it wasn't the first time. So it was shocking to me that everyone picked up on it just then. You know what I mean? But, but, but to be fair – yeah, that you know, uh, you he, that was probably internet. the most. That was probably the most eyes on him in the, that he had on a in a while because right. of the situation. Yeah. Jimmy Havoc lost to Darby Allen. Darby Allen. Don't will be, remind me. Darby Don't Allen will be me. challenging Chris Jericho for the end of uh, AEW Championship next week. Well, so. the only cool thing I liked about Darby Allen thing was, uh, and I don't want to spoil it, but what he does at the end. The we'll, we'll casket drop? No, the, when it, the skateboard. Okay. Uh, and, uh... This... <laughs> oh! That hurt my ear, bro! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I know. Shout out to Coleco's son. Yeah. Next match, B. Priestley and Sakura lost to Riho and Britt Baker. And Riho oh, and Britt Baker will be ne- wrestling next week. They are really pushing Riho. But real quick, uh, in my opinion, B. Priestley is the uh, sleeper standout of the women's division. Oh, I think eventually she will like be one of the top women. Like they they can't get around it. Like I think the um, Kylie the Kaylee Ray situation. Uh, her removal is going to open up that spot even more so for B. Priestley. Is B. Priestley signed with AEW? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. they wouldn't be having it. And I don't think they would have, have her on TV like this prominently if they didn't weren't sure about it. Well, and, but you, I'm pretty sure, yeah. You know what the thing is? I've seen B. Russell before, and I was not really impressed with her. I mean, she well, lost to an 18, uh, a 17 year old at that point. You gotta understand, she's 23 years old. She's still really young. True, but like they were building her as something special, and I kind of just didn't see it. Every, everyone, now, when they're super young, is still just growing into their own pains. You know what I mean? They can have all the potential in the world. They might, you know, be slow growers maturely. They might, you know, there's all kinds of things. True, that are but she wasn't the youngest person there because she lost to a 17-year-old. Everyone reacts to age differently. It just depends True. on the person. So I kind of see B now in a different light and kind of maybe where she should be. And that... Uh, like they, that's their play up to the British audience because they for sure are going to go to Britain in 2020. Right. In the UK. And uh, they, they're they going to be out in the West. They're going to be out here, uh, I believe, in like February or late January because they're – instead of darting around the uh, nation like WWE does, they're going geographically, like, you know, to uh, save – Travel time and, and money, you know, basically, instead of going from one side of the country to the other, just, you know, from Indianapolis to Chicago, Chicago to Milwaukee, you know, the connecting cities, and then yeah. Uh, yeah. get to the West Coast that way, and then they'll, so around January, February, I think they'll be out. All right. Best friends did an interview. They didn't say much, but Orange Cassidy was at ringside. Meh. Man, are they, man, are they popping for him. That's crazy. You know, there's supposed to be a real wrestling organization, but they got a guy that wrestles with his hands in his pockets. I mean, it's funny for a while. It just, to me, it gets old. But, so, to people that it's new to, I can understand the appeal. And I, but, I, I don't know. 
Well, it, I'm telling see, you, it now. See if it evolves and grows on me. I did see a uh, a spot he did with uh, on the Young Bucks on being the elite. It was uh, it was funny. It was like, but he does it a lot where he acts. He he's just sitting there and people think he's dead, and then they remove his glasses and his eyes are wide open. <laughs> a real weekend. It, it, but he does it all the time. He does it all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So I would like to see him change it up. Sean Spears, next match, Sean Spears with Tully Blanchard. Obviously, they're, uh, he's they, managing they're mis- him now. Yeah, they're, they're misusing both of them. They need to have them at a bigger, like, way up there. And not feeding him to Moxley, in my opinion. This ba- match should not have been booked, in my opinion. Yeah, they lost to John Moxley. Um, this is bullshit, dude. Why... Tully Blanchard, you put him with Sean Spears, and then you have him lose two straight matches. Uh, this is horrible booking. They are shit. They don't mean to be shitting on Sean Spears, but with all the other people that they have in that they have to quote unquote take care of, it's hard to find room for the people who really deserve it sometimes. AW fans, we're going to see a different Sean Spears. <laughs> I, I think, <laughs> hey, I mean. Uh, well, wait, I'm being completely forward and honest. If AEW does something wrong, I say it, don't I? I don't cover COVID. No, no, no. I'm, t- I'm talking about in general because to oh, me, I why, I'm just saying why did they I go through all that? Guy. Yeah, but my thing is why did they go through all that, like, interview, putting them with Tully for him to, like, I lose the code, you. lose the, I, we lose are the 100% Amber. On I, yeah, I agree with you 100%. I'm just saying that does nothing for him. If anything, it, it, not only him, it, it hurts Tully's legacy. It hurts Tully, and, t- and it's going to get to the point where Tully's going to kick him out to the curb, and he might become a face. Maybe that, that's well, the only thing I this see. Is ha- I, it, I, I feel so bad. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. Maybe Sean Spears shouldn't have left, w- or maybe he shouldn't have at least gone to AEW. Because mm. uh, hold on, it, it's good for some people's careers, but then it can be bad for others. Like it, there's no room for you, and they're already pushing other people. You know what I mean? The thing that doesn't make sense to me is Moxley's supposedly a heel. And uh, no, he, no, no, he's the uh, hybrid. He's a, what do you call it? A neutral, he's, or, a, uh, tweener. he's a Steve Austin. He's a tweener. He's a tweener? He's a, he's tweener. a Steve Austin of AEW. Hmm. Uh, and he, you, yeah, he's, he's a hybrid. I call him a hybrid. True, but, you know... I don't know. Sean Spears is a heel. John Moxley is a heel. It just didn't make. Oh, I don't think Moxley's a heel though. He just he has that he, heel energy, but everyone loves him. So. But he's, he's wrestling he, he, the biggest super baby face star that they have. So. But he also and, is wrestling heels with Sean Spears. He's wrestling both of them. So see, he's in what? the middle. Well. Kenny Omega came out after the match. Just saying, a, that's how they're booking him. <laughs> I'm just explaining. He it. came out with a barbed wire baseball all, bat and a all over the world. and Our a country. barbed wire broom, and gave the bat to Moxley, and then Pack the bastard attacked Kenny Omega from the. Back. No, you mean the bastard. The bastard. I can't do that. Like. Tongue curl. Although Pac the, had, the, Pac, I can't do that. Pac, but I wish I could. Pac had the realest. He had the realest like statements during like. Oh, he's one of the best like. Um, Cause he's like, like, bro, he's got the two, mo- and and he, you could argue he, he got the he, two he, quality wins. He's and got he's a, nowhere in the title. He might not be the best promo, but he's got a sharp tongue in terms of like getting right to the point and making something sting as a heel statement. He's great at that. And he knows the buttons to push. And, yeah. So. You know, what I would just like to know, is it Pac or is it Pac? That's what like, I was good at. I was good at heel work when I was Because everybody says it differently. It's I Pac. To, like two I know Pac. how to push buttons like he does. But, yeah, no, it's, 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 uh, it's Pac. I think it's Pac. Yeah, Tupac. Like no, Tupac. wait, but I, I have mm. heard it also called Pac on TNT. I think, it, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Pac. It's Pac. I think so, actually. I think, I think it's, it's both. Pac. I think I think people say it both ways, so tomato, tomato. Yeah. I mean, but he's I acting he too pac ish if you ask me. I think me. he says Pack, though. I think he, if you were to ask him, he'd say Pack, because they, they said it on TV as Pack. Calico, is that why he didn't come to Las Vegas? Yeah, he didn't want to get hit up at the Circus Circus, man. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, and that brings us to our last match. Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara defeated Hyman Page and Dustin. Dustin Rhodes. After the match, the inner circle beat up the faces. Cody came out. Then MJF came out to help Cody, who was getting beat up. And then more stuff happened. And Darby Allen came out to beat up uh, Chris Jericho on a fucking skateboard. Lots and lots of Gaga, but the faces came out uh, this week. They were on top. Well, they chased the Yeah, they, they fended them off, at least, yeah. 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 They stood tall with the credit script rolling out. Well, I mean, it took like 15 of them. Then uh, last six, week. six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> it took then a gang of them. <laughs> I know, I know. And I'm, I'm shitting on your dramatic dram dramatism by being smart, Alex. Why is everything so, <laughs> so down to or to you? Everything is <laughs> it's just reality-based. I just answered things like straight. For, it's called, uh, we call it uh, dry pan comedy. It, people think you're serious when you're messing around, you know? Yeah. You never know. <laughs> All right, so That's a, again, I thought this was a really good show. Um, you know, they're building. Oh, I did. Dead pan, not dry pan. Sorry, go ahead. They're building and improving on what they've had from last week. So they're going in the right direction. Yeah. Oh, big time. There wasn't half of the mistakes oh, that we saw last week. What? Like, it was very, very, it was a lot more smoother. Like, the, the uh, production, you could tell the production was a lot better and crisper. Yeah, everything was just, they were more on their piece and cues this week, you could tell. All right. Yeah, and my only thing is, is that, like, I, I saw the ratings and both lost, like, viewers. But I think it's more important for AEW to attract more casual viewers. But uh, they were going to have a – okay. No, no, well, no, no, oh, no, no. no. The TNT finish. has the 20% drop by their network, so it was about by how well, it would go by – No, no, but my point, my point is they, they got the group. They, they already have a base. Right, the, I understand, the but – point it, is like the, what they need to do is try to get things to where they can – Okay. Expand their base. That's that's yeah. all. That's all. I I got and hear me out. Do you know what TNT's projection uh, of their the first show was? Say like if they got more than that, they would be happy over the moon. Five hundred thousand, and they blew past that. So I think they're okay. Well, well, I get that, but I'm just saying like as far as long term, I I I think it would be better for them to expand the I'm base. That's all I said. I'm that's just all saying. Said. As a starting point, you gotta you gotta realize they're just on week two, so you gotta you gotta bring that into the equation too. I know, but that's still a significant drop from the first episode. Though. But but I mean, you know, that you know was gonna happen because that was the first episode. It was history. Well, well my... and you're not gonna get better. You're not gonna get better because people from wanted... the very from the historic first episode. You're not gonna. I I don't think anyone expected it to get better ratings than last week. No, I no, no. What I'm, saying, I'm just I'm not talking about rating wise. I'm talking about viewership wise. As far as like, I think personally, if I saw that number, I would say, okay, we lost them. Where do we lose them? How do we get it back? I wasn't shitting on them. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm pretty I sure wasn't something that, on them. Yeah, I I'm just saying about. something. What something that I think they should like pay attention to. I understand. Because that. that if you're not paying attention to that number, then it drops again, then it drops. Right. See, in, hold on. This is what I'm saying. Let's let's give it. Okay. Let's look next week, and if it drops significantly again next week, then what what that indicates is that their first show brought people that usually wouldn't watch it, and they just went away. And the normal number that we thought would be there, no matter what, it, it will dwindle down to. But it's like you said, it's AEW's job to keep those viewers that they're grabbing for the first time. So we'll see how many stay and how many come back. And with, right. So let's see where it builds up. Yeah. You're right. I agree with you on that. And with that, we'll end our coverage of AEW and the Wednesday Night Awards. Uh, all agree that AEW won this week? 
Oh, yeah. Aesthetically, yes. Action wise, oh, NXT. Every way, in every single category. And well, NXT's show was the shits compared to their last week's show. Well, Kaliko just said that uh, action wise. He went yeah, with well, NXT. that's Kaliko's opinion. Yeah. I'm going with that. Yeah, action wise, I, I would say next. But yeah. as far as like view wise, I would say because it's different seeing something in front of 15,000 people than in front of 500. Bingo. So I get that point as far as like the, the appearance. Yeah, AW1, because of course there are scores and so forth. Well, that's, part of, that's all planning. That's part of their planning. That's, part of, that's WWE's ball to drop because they have so much money. If they wanted to get out of work sale match. yesterday, they could have. I just want to say that. Well, I, I get that point, but NXT is going to have to make an adjustment, which means either they're going to go on tour, which I highly doubt. We'll see if that happens. Something's going to have to happen where they make they're because gonna they're gonna that it. same that same group of people that come every week. It's hard to keep that energy up when you're when you got another company I, that's touring you, every week. So I, I, that's yeah. where I see their adjustment might be. Okay, we're going to go on. Oh, we're gonna go through the Florida area. Let's say, see, what I'm saying, I, I, I see that. But uh, NXT, I'm telling you, you. Go ahead. And so the ambiance, because it looked more important. Because of course they're in a fifteen thousand seat stadium, so of course the 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 way it's presented looks totally different. Right, but I promise you, from uh, just uh, what I've heard, they they they. Not only one out of there, it, I think they're. I know they're gonna get out of there. It's just a matter of time. And what about you, Scooter? If you're actually up, uh, quite it's honestly, your hands so sticky. yeah, honestly, I'm not, I'm not thinking right now. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it, it, it's almost midnight here, and yeah, let's say good night to Scooter as we talk about New Japan next. Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> Weekend one, at man. scooters. Yeah. I'll, talk to you, I'll talk to you tomorrow, bro. Good night, guys. Yeah, good, good night, night, scooter. Good night. Now we are wrestling with New Japan King of Pro Wrestling. This will be on Monday for everybody. And we will be talking about the first matchup. Gypsum Dundo Lago versus Minoru Suzuki in a special singles match. I really thought they were gonna like push that to Wrestle Kingdom, so that's surprising. That was surprising. So uh, I don't know if they're gonna build it in a feud to Wrestle Kingdom. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, I, I didn't watch the. Uh, I wasn't able to watch this week. I had so much going on and all the wrestling that was on this week. It was, you know. Right. Uh, so yeah, my bad. I did. Yeah, I, I didn't even catch a review of it, which I usually at least catch the review. Well, this is an interesting match because both guys said they're gonna murder each other. Oh, and, lovely! Right? You don't wait real quick. You don't get. Where do you go from from there after you think you're gonna <laughs> kill someone? How can you get much better? Yeah, you just, <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay. Dude, no, I'm I'm thinking it. You know, Michael <laughs> already attempted murder on Suzuki, so. Yeah, Liger literally tried to stab him with like yeah, a right. uh, <laughs> stab him for real. Well, for real. That's like, the Japan pro for you, bro. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they do some they do some Japanese cartoon shit where yeah, uh, yeah, like, uh, like they, they they do cosplay and they act like characters with superpowers. Yeah, all the time. Lago wants Suzuki's head on a stake, and Suzuki's gonna murder. Lago, so that sounds like an American dish. Uh, Suzuki <laughs> head on a stick. <laughs> Lago head on a dish. Oh, <laughs> uh, so who's winning this match, Lago or Suzuki? Tweaker. It's Tweaker? up to you, Mitch. Oh, it's up to me, I guess. Uh, my heart says Suzuki. But I, I, I'm saying Suzuki, but I, I'm scared that they're going to go with Liger. I hope Suzuki does. Uh, Kaliko, are you there? No, he's away. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go 
I'm going to say this gets thrown out and it's a disqualification. I think so. I think, yeah, I think it's either uh, what you said, like a miss, mm, mm, uh, a draw of some kind uh, with dusty finish or whatever, or Scotta gets a cheat, like a win out of nowhere, but then Liger stomps him at the end and gets his heat back. Right. So, yeah. Going in uh, a draw out match, but if it goes to, if I have to pick one or the other, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Suzuki. Right. Mm-hmm. Next and yeah. Suzuki, like they should have him as like one of the top four or five guys in New Japan. He like he he should be up there. He really should for the world in in the hunt for the world title in the next few years. I would put him there. He's uh underappreciated, I think. Oh, very much because, so. Because yeah. uh, you know, he is on the older side. Yeah, uh, how old exactly is he? Uh, he's fifty-one. Oh wow. He's older than I even assumed. Wow. Okay. I thought he was like uh, early, early 40s, late 30s at best. Oh, uh, uh, no. Wow. He... wow. Okay. Uh, no, that okay. was when wow. he did his 30 years of wrestling show. Right. He wrestled Okada, who was actually dirty. Oh, okay. I, I get where you Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get where you going. There it is. Man, there I don't know what happened. I was talking in them. <laughs> Wait, were you trying to talk? Yeah, I was trying to talk. I was <laughs> going to say. Your audio went out. It keeps going. Oh, in man. We lost Coleco again. again. Yeah. There we go. Coleco, your, your, your audio is going in and out. We can't hear you. Oh, shit. Now, we, 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 heard you say, we heard you say, oh, shit. And then you the two went out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. See, it's doing it again. Like, yeah. here you start a sentence, and then it, 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 see, we hear you now, but it, it cuts out. So, like, like you'll be talking, and then like it'll cut out. Like that. It just did it again. See, the we system. There he is. Try again now. Try now. I say Liger. Okay, there we go. I heard that. All right. Because well, he brought it. Oh, he, wow. You're, he, going with them. you're going with Liger. Okay. I mean, because Suzuki brought out the this 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 craziness, so he's got to get what's what's coming, right? Like, true. I mean, true. We'll see. But I still view it as a uh, junior versus heavyweight. Right. Well, at this point, it's crazy versus crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> that so we just go on that for sure. I mean, we just go see which. Wow. Which one window. is more? Yeah, which one is uh, less marbles attached to their? Yeah, no. exactly. Which one both about that life? That's what. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, next match: Will Osprey versus El Fantasmo for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Two great wrestlers. This has potential match oh, of the yeah. night. This is a, this is a sure. In my opinion, this is going to be the show stealer. Yeah, and I... Will Osprey always it, steals the show. Our it's time. hard to make sense of what I... He, all, he always... He, he, okay. bounce, he always bounces up and down the weight classes. So, yeah, I want to say Phantasmo because Osprey's going to bounce up and down considering he's like... He was like a junior heavyweight champion in the G1, which right. is right. unheard of. But so I think that I'm gonna is, go. Fan- oh, sorry, I didn't know you were. Uh, go ahead. Phantasmo. That's where I'm gonna go. But see, with Will Ospreay, what you said about him, that's what gives him longevity to be, you know, possibly a world heavyweight champion in the future. That he can go up and down in weight class like that. So Never gonna I'm happen. going with Will Ospreay. I'm going with Will Ospreay. I am going with my boy. I remember you said that, by the way. I'm going with my boy ELP, El Fantasmo, Too Sweet okay. for Life. Okay, so I'm the only one with Osprey. Okay. Oh, keep in mind that I'm not a big Osprey fan. I know, I know, but I don't go with, like, who I'm not. I mean, sometimes I just go with what I think who's gonna, who I think is going to win, regardless of what I think about him. Unless yeah. I really hate them. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it doesn't play, it doesn't play into my... Well, it does a little bit, I'm just but, uh, Yeah, it does. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> but they're pushing El Fantasmo to the moon, so it makes sense for them to 
Godot route. Especially yeah, I, if I Koromu is going to come back somewhere down the line. Yeah, I can't argue with your premise. So. Well, I mean, he's a heel, and Osprey's a, a face. He's a heel! Yeah. yeah. He's a heel! Yeah. Alright, next match. Mm. IWGP US Heavyweight Championship No Disqualification Match. John Moxley versus Juice Robinson. You know, Ooh. Moxley has two rivalries right now with Kenny Omega and Juice Robinson. And honestly, I'm more excited about the Juice Robinson rivalry. Uh, I don't see Moxley getting past this. They need they need to get him to drop the title before. Uh, 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 they what's the WrestleMania? I, Russell I know the. Kingdom Russell, I'm an idiot. Russell Kingdom, sorry, I'm I'm tired too. <laughs> yeah, Russell, before Russell Kingdom, it, I think now is the time. And Juice Robinson is the guy. What about you, Kaliko? What do you think? I mean, actually, my this is one for him to lose, right? Like this is the the proven point Juice was wanting, right? So that's he, what I'm saying. To me, it has to be juice because hey, right. it's going to be not beneficial to hey. Moxley for him well, to not, be going back and forth. Not just that. It's not going to be beneficial to New Japan to have someone they don't have uh, specifically under contract with them as the United States champion right. uh, for, as for too long. True, but, you know, juice got the win on Moxley. He proved he can hey. beat hey. Moxley. And uh, how many uh, times uh, okay. is Juice Robinson going to prove himself? I mean, this will be his third time as a uh, United prove States to champion. Me. This right. is the rubber no, match, though. I don't think he needs to prove himself to me. He he's over already over like Rover in my eyes for New Japan. Well, but, in, his, uh, in his mind, because he lost to Moxley. I think. Uh, I don't know, but I, what I will say is, from what I, friends uh, connected to uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, um, they say that or hint at uh, John leaving pretty soon. So I don't see him keeping the towel much longer. And so when I heard the announcement of Juice versus him, I was like, oh, okay, that's how they're gonna get the belt off him. So I just yeah, the same way it makes sense. Black. It makes sense. It makes sense. If I'm going to go... Especially with Juice being the guy to beat him. Yeah, right, sorry, go ahead. Uh, even if Moxley was going to leave, they're going to at least get Russell Kingdom out of him. So, you think so? I don't know. I'm going to say Juice... Doubt it. I did, thank you, Coleco. I'm, I, that's what I've heard. Is I don't, I don't think he's going to Russell Kingdom. I'm going to say Moxley... I think he'll be wins, and Juice gets the rematch at Kingdom. Okay. I think he'll be on a full schedule with AEW by then. Um, either way, I don't think he's working full. He's going to work full schedule. Yeah, it, oh, okay. I promise you, with especially the big names of the AEW side, if they don't, if they weren't, uh, if they had other um, independent, uh, you know, wrestling companies that they had already made deals with, when they were initially signed, the deal is that they cannot make a, or sign any new contracts with new companies, that they have to work out the remaining time on their contracts with the other companies. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, and, and then work specifically and uh, solely with AEW. All right. So uh, you and Coleco are Juice and I am Moxley. Yep. All right. Next match. IWGP Heavyweight Championship Contract Match. Kota Ibushi versus Evil. Going with Kota Ibushi here. I don't think Evil is going to win that match. I'm going with Kota Ibushi as well. Toliko. Uh, he might be away. Yeah. Okay. Ibushi. Oh, there he is. There you go. He's the man. Ooh, he's the guy. He's going with Ibushi. There yeah. we go. All three of us. I. Uh, I, I feel like Evil only gets these opportunities because it's October. <laughs> in, all, in all honesty. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Last... Like a fiend light situation. <laughs> I mean, the guy dresses up like the Grim Reaper. I mean, oh, I it's, know. it's I know. awesome cosplay for for that's Halloween. Well, that's what you're paying for, you. Sure. You they they do a lot of that over there. Um, and that brings us to our last match: IWGP Heavyweight Championship match: Kazuchika Okada versus Sonata. Okada. What about you, Mitch? Oh, okay, I'm back. Sorry. Okada or Sonata? Okay, uh, gotta go with Okada. Yeah. Coleco? Yeah, he's not Coleco, here. Coleco, Okada or Sonata? If you, you hear. Okada. It's set up for him to win. Unfortunately, exactly. I, I assumed, but I just wanted to hear you say. It. I mean, the whole point of him in the G one was the right. beat. Right, right, yep. right. That was basically his existence in the G one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, and you know that's kind of that says a lot for you, Coleco, because you're a big Sonata fan. And you know, I'm I'm a Sonata fan as well, but he's not one in this match. He's not. Unfortunately. Alright. No way. No, uh, no way. If All that right. happens. And that <laughs> shall conclude our coverage of New Japan King of Pro Wrestling. We will cover the actual show and our predictions next week on the show. Also, more Wednesday Night Wars and so we're going to cover the draft more in depth next week as mm -hmm. well. So stay tuned for that. If you like the show, please like, subscribe, comment, and on on YouTube and Castbox. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can follow me at James J nine nine three. Where can they find Coleco? <clears throat> I am Kaliko. You can catch me on my never-ending never quest to find a, a greatest hits compilation of every Mauro Ronaldo hip hop reference. <laughs> <laughs> I and love. Both, and book can be find Mitch Mayhem. And not Mitch Mayhem. Could you repeat that? You went out. Oh, I said, and you can hear me at Mitch Mayhem, or you you can uh, contact me at Mitch Mayhem X at, Th on Twitter. Thank you. And you could tweet at Scooter Dust at hashtag Scooter Dust, obviously. Um, but not right now because he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he, it's weekend yeah. at East Scooter Coaster. at this point. <laughs> East All right. For... Coleco Yachts, Mitch Mayhem, Scooter Dust, I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling Wit. Entertainment. Oh, yeah, dig it. <laughs>